remember when Claire, you know, took Michael to the University of Miami. He came back, I think it was after practice, he said they said he had autism. We didn't know what it was. We actually looked it up in the encyclopedia, you know. I mean, we lost our breath. It was just, you know, oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? And um, we were so fortunate with Michael um, because he, he progressed so beautifully and has done so well. But it was just so overwhelming. There was not much out there for us at the time. There really wasn't anywhere to turn to right away. It's, you know, anytime any any of your kids or family members or anything, there's that initial shock, you know, what do we do, why us, those question marks. But then I think we kind of took it head on saying we're going to do whatever we can to help Michael to get the, uh, the best help and to give him the best chance he possibly can to succeed in life. And that's kind of where all the foundation started and, and all the things we've done over the years and, and raising money kind of started from not only seeing how Mike developed, but seeing how it was so important to help others. When I first started with all of Michael's treatments, Dan was still playing football and um, it was pretty much all on me to get him you know, uh, preschool during the day, plus I had all the other children, then it would be after school, would be physical therapy, speech therapy. So it was everywhere, going all over, dragging the rest of the family along with me. An average family that couldn't, you know, really afford to, to, to do that, you know, they're really fighting from behind. Uh, so we came up with the idea to have in one place and one center. And Everybody's under the same roof. Everybody talks. You know, if you have a question, you can run downstairs or you can go upstairs or you can, the doctors see each other passing in the hall and can stop and talk about it. And that, I think, is essential. It's like a family. Uh, over the years, over the last 10 years, we've had some additions on the facility and, and now we also have a aquatic center going in and, um, and it's, it's continuing to grow. You never dream at that time that you're going to make such an impact, but I really do believe we've made a great impact on a lot of people's lives with that center. I always had the idea that everybody's not going to be able to come to our place here or other places like ours throughout the country, so we need to go to the internet and maybe, you know, maybe like live television on the internet to, for instructions for people who can't get to places. We call it the childnet.tv where families can go online and it's in, it's in demand, a lot of people are using it and I think it's a, it's a, it's a great success. way to you know I don't know find a cure or for treatment is through research and, and uh, in conjunction with the University of Miami and Vanderbilt we started the Marino Autism Research Institute and it's something that uh, is kind of just starting off and, and it's growing you know we have two colleges involved now and, and we'll be adding on other schools and and um, I just think it's it's the way to go in the future Dan and Claire's commitment to excellence, both in terms of their history of supporting great clinical care and realizing that clinical care can only improve through discoveries, through research. It's visionary in terms of what they've done with the Marino Autism Research Institute, and it's already paying off. We identified a, a mutation in the MET gene that shows a strong association uh, with autism, and it increases risk uh, for autism as well and there's just no way we would have been able to do that work without support from Mari. It's about hope. I mean, I, there's a lot of people that have come to me and not necessarily, you know, said Michael's an example, but, you know, our center, that it's making a difference, that you see the difference in, you know, our family and, and, and you know, our, our boy or girl that has, you know, developmental disabilities or autism, uh, just, uh, and how that's been a big impact for them in their lives. And that's, that's a very special feeling. The first visit that I probably made here was to a support group, and that one night changed my life. I went from total despair to completely okay, and a lot of that has to do with this place, the Dan Reno Center. It's gotten us this far. I hope that it's here forever. <laughs>
We started off um, where we had lost all language and eye contact and very defensive to anyone being around him and any changes in the environment and through intensive therapy daily, occupational speech, language, social, he's um, now on the mild to high end of the spectrum. Matthew was diagnosed with uh, autism at the age of three. He went from being um, nonverbal and um, self-injurious to being highly verbal and <laughs> a delightful child. It's made a huge difference in my son's life and it's been really helpful to my entire family. We've all found a place here.